this is Omar from the Third Rail. How we doing? We doing fine. Another beautiful day. Happy Saturday. A lot of shit is going on. Oh, we said the word S H I T. Now I'm gonna get a problem with YouTube. I found out you can't curse in the beginning. So I'm feeling great. We got a great show for everybody. We're gonna talk about a lot of that. I, I, I cobbled some stuff together. We're gonna to talk about um the new massacre in Gaza. Almost 220 people are dead and 650 injured to rescue four Israelis. Unbelievable shit is going on. As if they have no value, there's no value in the human life. Uh, I mean, the United States helped. The, it was the United States military that did all the work. And we're going to talk about um, our sister, Brianna Joy Gray. She was fired because she was a, a pro-Palestinian uh, um, journalist. Not just pro-Palestinian, we're just saying the truth. And, and when you say the truth these days, uh, you are considered um, anti-Jewish or anti-Zionist or anti-Israel, and you lose your job automatically, which is a shame. And we're going to talk about the great hope basketball player, Kathleen Clark. She is an amazing player, but the problem we're having is that um, the reason I call her White Hope, I'm going to tell you why, because a lot of people are looking, at, are looking at her through color, black, white. The girl is great. She's a great basketball player. She just started. She has a beautiful future ahead of her. Everybody relax. Hold your fucking shit together. And we're going to watch a video about that. Um, we're going to try, you know, see how we're going to do today. I don't have a lot of uh, uh, material. But I hope you support this channel, brothers, with like. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Come on, man. I'm your brother, man. Come on. You guys help the guy out. All right. Help me out. Yeah. I'm loving you so much, baby. I'm a singer. You know, I'm not a great singer. So we're going to start. Where are we going to start? This morning we wake up to this shit. Dum diddy dum dum diddy dum dum. Boom. Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thank you for joining us here on CBS News. We have breaking news out of the Middle East. Israel says it has rescued four hostages during a raid on a camp in central Gaza. Take a look at this. This is video of a helicopter believed to be transporting one of the hostages to a hospital in Israel this morning. Gaza's health ministry says more than 200 Palestinians were killed during the operation. CBS News foreign correspondent Chris Livesey has the latest from Tel Aviv. Chris. Good morning. Just moments ago, Israel announced that four Israeli hostages were rescued this morning from captivity in Gaza. They include three men, Almog Meyer, 21 years old, Andre Kozlov, 27, and Shlomi Ziv, 40, and one woman, 25-year-old Noah Argamani, who was already reunited with her father. They were all abducted from the Nova Music Festival on October 7th. And we all remember that footage of Noah Argamani being kidnapped by terrorists and taken away way on the back of a motorcycle as she cried out in desperation. And you may recall her mother making a deeply touching appeal to her captors to release her because the mother herself is dying of cancer. Almag Mayer is one of the hostages who has appeared in a Hamas propaganda video. Israel says their medical condition is normal. The abductees were rescued by Shin Bet and IDF fighters from two different locations during the operation in the heart of Nuzerat, where heavy fighting has been reported by our CBS. It was the United States Special Forces. The Israeli motherfuckers can't even shoot straight. Yesterday, one of their tanks ran over one of their um, uh, soldiers' carriers and killed a lot of... They, they can't even shoot straight. It was American, uh, American troops that came from the port. You know, the port they made, the water port that was supposed to bring in food. Actually, it was done for military purposes. United States Special Forces and commandos came in but the problem I have, let him finish yes, and I'm going to tell you what it is. In Gaza. Oh. Lana? Chris, live say in Tel Aviv. Thanks, Chris. Israel released this video of Argamani speaking with the country's president today. We're also learning that Israeli soldiers. She looks healthy, right? Hey, they're not being beat up or anything like that. Were dressed as civilians during the rescue operation, but they were discovered, leading to a massive firefight. Israel says one commando involved in the operation has died. The White House commented on the rescue a few moments ago. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan commended the Israeli military for the commended. most daring operation. Daring operation. The U.S. supports all efforts to secure the release of all hostages still held by Hamas, including American citizens. So we saw th there was no need for this fucking rescue. They're ready negotiation. The only thing the negotiation is Hamas is saying 
We want you to stop killing people in Gaza and you can have your people. That's the whole purpose of it. So today, four people were rescued, right? More than 210 Palestinians were killed. There's a lot of videos. You can't put them on YouTube. That's how bad they are of, of cut bodies, slaughtered. I mean, they just killed everybody in front of them. I mean, these motherfuckers have, they have no, they don't see the Palestinian as human. I don't think the United States sees the Palestinian. I don't think Joe Biden sees the Palestinian as um as human being. If four hostages were rescued, there was nothing wrong with them. They don't look like they were getting beat up or starved or anything like that. That means for every hostage that was rescued, almost 55 Palestinians were killed. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you and these numbers, motherfuckers. You are actually creating a situation what they that doesn't need to be created. There's a negotiation going on. These hostages are not in harm way. A matter of fact, the most dangerous people have been told these hostages is the Israeli army with their bombing. They have killed 42 of their own people by bombing inside Gaza. So the most dangerous entity to the hostages was the Israeli Air Force. So for you, the United States, to build this port that was supposed to bring in food, I mean, it was suspect. Why would you build a port and you have all these uh, natural crossings and trucks that come in in three seconds? The whole idea was the United States uh, forces were located on this port and they swept in and they did the job. But I'm going to tell you, I, I could tell you 100% probably the American forces did not do the killing. The Israeli forces did all that killing. They killed everybody. More than 650 men, women, and children were injured in this camp. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, is the hostages inside this area? Well, that means they were safe. You saw how the hostages look. The whole objective of October 7 was, a lot of people don't understand this. The whole objective of, of October 7 was to take Israeli hostages so they could trade them for Israeli, for Palestinian hostages. Since the war started, they have 7,000 uh, Palestinians that have been kidnapped. Some of them, they've been held in such fucking painful uh, uh, position, they had to cut their legs off because there was no circulation to their arms or to their legs. Um, there is no humanity, man. What's up, my brother? Oh, what up, what up, what up, what up? Late night round when it's here. Welcome, my brother in arms. How are you? How you feeling, man? We're talking about a lot of shit today. Excuse my language. We're just talking about what happened this morning when the uh, Israeli commandos uh, killed more than 210 Palestinians to get four hostages who are not in danger, who are being negotiated to go home. The only uh, uh, thing that uh, the, the Palestinian resistance want is they want the Israeli army to withdraw from Gaza and they could take their people. Like I said a couple of minutes ago, guys, the, the most dangerous uh, entity to the Israeli hostages was the Israeli military. They killed already 42 hostages when they bombed, carpet bombed Gaza. Uh, 